Hello, this is Jonathan. Um, during all the effects of this virus, uh, we've had our own uh, family tragedy. Uh, we have lost our dog of many years, our dog Buddy. And uh, I've always said that uh, whatever happens in our life, uh, good or bad, becomes the subject of uh, our next video. We had originally had something else planned uh, for this one, but uh, since this uh, this event happened, uh, this had to become the next uh, video. So I'm going to uh, attempt to do a tribute to Buddy. I don't want to make it a total bummer. Uh, I've never wanted to do anything that was uh, kind of sad on the video, although it is. Uh, and it greatly affects uh, our family. Um, I want to do uh, something as a tribute and talk about some of the very positive things that uh, Buddy, uh, uh, you know, contributed to to our in our family, and uh, give you a little backstory about Buddy. So that's what we're gonna do. So let's get going. My name is Jonathan and I'm a caregiver for my wife Lynn who has a permanent brain injury. Things are different now, but we're doing the best that we can. Join us as we experience the Lynn life. Okay, uh, I'm at the in the parking lot of a local supermarket. I'm going to head in shortly to uh, pick up just a few items. This is not my major grocery shopping this is midweek it's Wednesday um, I haven't been out of the house really the grocery shop since Saturday um, I did I you know, obviously was out to care for buddy take care of buddy um, but didn't go to the grocery store we're out of milk or out of a few things I think Lynn needs shampoo and a couple other things so we're gonna do that I got I got my mask I'm gonna wear a mask uh, wear that out in public and uh, so we're going to head in, and then we're going to talk about Buddy. Uh, before we get on to Buddy, I just got out of the store and was able to get some toilet paper and uh, some hand soap in the dollar store. I needed to go into both stores anyway, so um, that's good. Getting some stuff that I wasn't able to get earlier. So, All right, so first let's talk about what actually happened. Um, Buddy noticeably wasn't doing very well. It was something wrong with him, something more than just being an old dog. He uh, wasn't eating, uh, he was vomiting, um, things like that. He'd been losing a lot of weight. So I uh, decided I would call the vet, and uh, luckily the vets were taking uh, animals in, but only if it was an emergency and disqualified. I was told I would have to call them from the parking lot and the vet would talk to me from there and then they'd come out, get the dog, bring him in. And uh, that's what they did. And uh, long story short, after a blood test, they discovered that uh, Buddy's kidneys were failing um, and that it was irreversible. It was really nothing they could do. There was things they could do to try to make him more comfortable for a little while, but... Um, uh, nothing that they could do to save his life he you know he was failing so I brought him home that night so that we could uh, as a family we could kind of say our goodbyes and, and uh, I want to make sure that Lynn understood what was going on and uh, she'd have a say in what we were going to do and we agreed that we, the best thing to do would be to put him down so they wouldn't go through the pain and uh, uh, that's what we did the very next day so now I want to talk about uh, why Buddy was such a special dog and give you a little bit of a backstory Buddy was a, a Cocker Spaniel Jack Russell mix he was about he would, his weight would range from between 21 and 24 pounds generally and uh, we adopted him in March of 2008. And uh, after a, a fairly lengthy uh, search for a dog, we, we thought 
Justin should have a dog. And, but we were looking for the right one. And just by chance, we decided to go to our local uh, Humane Society to see what they had. They knew they had one dog there. Uh, it was on their website, but it, it was kind of old. It was about 10 years old, and I didn't want him to have a, a dog that was too old. He'd just get attached to them, and then they'd be gone. Um, didn't want a puppy either. Um, but we went there anyways, and they mentioned, you know what? Uh, there's one dog that just became available for adoption today. He's not on our website yet. And it was Buddy. We were there. We got there in the morning, and we were there at just the right time because there was another, another gentleman that came in right behind us who had seen him the day before, but he wasn't available for adoption yet. So this gentleman was coming in to adopt him. But we were there ahead of him, and he saw that uh, you know, we had a little boy, Justin, and he said, that's fine. So Buddy ended up uh, going home with us. In fact, uh, uh, actually, I like to say that Buddy kind of picked us because when we first brought him out, out of the Humane Society, the first thing he did is he did a poop on the grass, which was a good sign. And then he ran over to our car. We had the car doors open. He didn't know whose car that was, but he, he saw that car and he hopped inside immediately. He said, let's get going. So uh, he picked us. He decided that we were the family he wanted to go home with. And uh, that's what happened. From that point on, Buddy was a part of the family. So he ended up in the majority of our Christmas cards, that, our family Christmas cards that I would make each year. Then in 2012, when Lynn ended up in the hospital with her brain injury, um, Buddy was there again with the rest of the family. When she uh, was in rehab, Buddy was able to visit with her. So he would go in on a regular basis. He knew exactly where her room was, and he would pull on that leash, and uh, you know, so that he couldn't wait to get to see her. And uh, he just—he's always loved her so much. And um, he actually would visit some of the other residents too. People thought he was a therapy dog, and he'd do his little tricks and stuff for them. And uh, he always enjoyed visiting people. The bond between Lynn and Buddy has always been super, super strong, which is why I was so concerned after he passed at how Lynn would handle it. Turns out Lynn is a very strong woman, and she understands, and she definitely didn't want Buddy to suffer. So she is coming around. She's, she's doing all right. This is Lynn. I'm a doing great. <laughs> and we'll see you next time on The Lynn Life.